Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and for today I'm going to be doing a very special video courtesy and many thanks to Vladix 3D World for sponsoring this video. Now I was contacted a while back and he sent me some of these figures to give an honest review about them and to paint them up on my channel as apparently he's also one of my subscribers so double thanks for that man. <laughs> now I did mention to him that I am definitely not the world best painter. Far from it actually. So I asked if I could just do a speed painting tutorial and he was totally on board with that. Now Vladix 3D World is a starting company that do a huge variety of 3D prints and miniatures are but a part of their range. Now they are also located in Belgium and that's where I'm from so that's just awesome. But they ship worldwide and I will leave a link in the description down below if any of you guys are interested in this sort of thing. Now, these guys came without a base, but that was no problem. I quickly made one and I primed the model in gray so you could see the details better. And I, yeah, I'm really liking this a lot and maybe thinking of painting one up in the Nurgle scheme as well. Now, these guys are really cool as I'm a Chaos player, so I'm very happy with this. Now, I'm going to uh, have a look and compare these models to the original and they look great. I'm no expert but when it when it comes to 3D prints but I really love the details and once painted up they will fit they will fit in really great with my army so again special thanks to you dude for sponsoring my channel and keep sending me these stunning figures all right as you can see they blend in nicely with each other so more blood for the blood god and I'm going to paint up these obliterators right now beginning with some corn red all right so with the corn red, I'm going to uh, start by picking out all the armor plates. <clears throat> that also includes his helmet and the casing of his chain sword that he has on his fist. Giving it all a good uh, solid coat. Corn red really covers well, so marking out all the places. And when that is done, it will look like this. Now I'm leaving the skin and all the other areas with the primer gray. Now I'm using some Rune Lord brass and that I'm going to simply uh, use to highlight all the details on his armor that I want to be gold or brass or... So just picking out all the details, being gentle. I really like these models, can't stress this enough. But I am a fan of uh, the Chaos Obliterator, so that's a plus. So when that is all done, it will look like this now. Cool. Now I'm going to use a Contrast Gilliman Flesh and I'm going to cover all the fleshy bits on this model. I'm not covering it with a, a flesh with a base flesh color, no, I'm just simply dipping into the pot and covering all the fleshy areas with my Gulliman flesh as I really wanted to have uh, this pallid, sickly looking uh, skin tone. Because I can imagine if you're turned into a, an obliterator, your, uh, your skin doesn't look all that healthy anymore. Like this. Now, with Lead Belcher, I'm going to begin by picking out all the metal areas. And that includes the guns on his shoulder. The plasma rifle on his wrist and some other uh, mechanical bits on his legs and stuff. Also the of the melt the gun, the flamer that he has on his other shoulder. Picking out all the metallic parts and the spinal thing. Like this. Cool model. Can't wait to tear up some space marines. <laughs> now with mood green, I'm gonna start by picking out some of the cables that run through his entire body. And especially the cables that attached uh, that are attached on his arm here. Picking because I really like the contrast of the vibrant green against the red and the brass. Also doing his eyes at this moment, the lenses. Flipping the model upside down to do the other eye. Keeping my brush as steady as I can. Like so. I'm picking out some more cables that run on his ribs here. 
one on his leg. Now I'm gonna everything that I did uh, that I did with the Rune Lord Brass. I'm now going to highlight it with the Retributor Armor. And you're probably wondering why am I using a darker color to highlight a lighter color. You will see once uh, I've done my wash. So just follow my madness. Now I'm going to use Contrast Paint Black Templar. And with that I'm going to highlight some more of the cables that run on his body. Some on his legs, the one from the abdominal area here as well. And while I'm at it, I'm also painting in his belt that uh, holds the brass and red loincloth. Picking out some of the cables as well. And he will look like this now. Let that all dry. And I'm going to wash the entire model with my Wonder Juice, which is 25% equal parts of... Uh, four of these items which is the first one is Lamia medium equal parts Reikland flesh shade again equal parts Nullen oil equal parts and last but not least everyone's favorite Agrax earth shade now we're gonna take equal parts of all these four and we're gonna combine that to create this marine juice not only marine juice, this is just a perfect wash that can, yeah, that can be used on anything. Now I'm gonna drown my model in this marine juice, simply drowning him. Now, when I say drown, I don't mean kill him by drowning him in paint, which means just cover the entire model and do try to, uh, where it starts to pull, try to soak up a little bit. Now, if you don't get it all, it will look quite messy, but on these guys, it's rather forgiving as they are chaos, so... They are covered in grime and blood and whatever. And let it dry. Now I'm going to do some simple highlights with a Mephiston Red on the red panels. Like so. Believe it or not, if you exclude the dry time, this took me less than 20 minutes, guys. That's not including the dry time, obviously, but just painting. It took me less than 20 minutes. And I am really happy with this result, no? I really am. And here he stands. And here he is with the others. I had previously painted those from the Start Collecting Chaos Space Marine box. And he fits in well with them, to my honest opinion. So, thank you all very much for watching and all your support. And thank you Vladix 3 d World for uh, sponsoring this video and sending me these cool figures. And yeah, looking forward to working with you, man. And everybody thanks again for everything and for the growing support and the growing subscribers without you guys Aretheus crafts and battles would have ceased to exist by now so thank you all very much and i will see you on the next run everybody bye for now bye